Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use assert is okay or assert is not okay. Um, so as a reminder of this project, it's built on REPL.IT. If you want to see how we set this up, you might want to go to the previous lessons where I set it up. Uh, is okay will test for a truthy value or is not okay will test for a falsy value. To learn more about truthy or falsy, try the uh, falsy bouncer challenge. This is something we did in the past. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now if we go over to REPL.IT, we set this up in earlier lessons, so we can still go to here, and you'll see that number three is where we're at now. So what we've got now is three tests, and they all fail um, because they're assert.fail. So they're going to fail for sure. And so what we want to do now is figure out whether or not these are truthy or falsy. Um, so yeah, I can come over here. I'm going to press Control C, and I'm going to press Node. Um, yeah, type in node into the console here and then you'll be able to do things so one way to find out is what you can do is you can say <clears throat> a way to not necessarily cheat but figure this out on your own is type in null down here and then make that equal to true that's that's false right but then if what about a string like any string is equal to true okay that's oh I thought that would be truthy a, I'm truthy a string is truthy null is falsy True is truthy. True is true, right. So string, true. <clears throat> so if we just do a string, any string, and we make that equal to true, I would have thought that would be uh, true. So apparently, okay, so what this is going to do is say is okay. So my guess, what I'm thinking is assert null and string is okay. Well, the truth is they're not. We want to make them, that's not okay. But the string and another string, well, those are okay, is what I'm guessing for this one, is okay. And then so true and a string, I think that that's, uh, yeah, I think true equals any string. Yeah, that's going to be false. So I guess we want to say is not okay here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to save this and then going to exit out of node. Or press Control C, Control C, and then we're going to go NPM uh, start. Or you can click this button. Either way, it's the same thing. And so now uh, we're running the tests. And if you scroll up, um, it's not surprising. I think I, got, I didn't get this one right. Okay, so we made some mistakes here. So let's see where we where we where we found out. So here down here it says basic basic uh, unit tests basic assertion is okay is not okay and so we'll see here um, on line 105 hmm, is okay argument true is truthy expect true to be false falsy on chai interface assert okay that's not it they don't have a, a line here yeah tests unit line 29 so we can look here and we say uh, one unit tests dot js line 14 so here's the line 14, right? Um, hmm. Okay, maybe it's 29. Yeah. Okay, so 29. So what I'm doing is I'm reading the error code here. The, yeah, the error code, which uh, correlates with uh, tests, forward slash one underscore unit tests. So tests, one underscore unit tests. And then it's on line 29. And then position 14. And so this is uh, not okay, but we, what we want this to say is is okay. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is we can run this again, I guess. And so um, now it's going to run again, and let's see what happens. It looks like is okay and is not okay now has a green check mark by it. So now we're uh, making assertions like this. Now, why do you want to do stuff like this? You want to be able to have things, you want to build little robots that can check your applications to see if your application is operating the way that it means. And so what if you had like a model or something like that, that uh, associated with a string, you could write it like this, and you could write an is okay variable, and that would make it so that you would know whether or not your database is working. And so, if you write a bunch of tests like this, you can test, you can make sure that when you make additions to your application, you don't break the whole thing. And so, this stuff's really useful, so it's important to kind of grasp this. But, anyways, we take that URL and throw it in here and say I've completed the challenge, and that's a good one. Let's keep on moving. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.